Number 1. Jumping Jacks Here's one perfect warm-up and cardio exercise to get your blood pumping before strength training. Stand upright with your feet hip-width apart and arms along your sides. Start jumping. Bring your feet apart, raise your arms, and clap overhead. Once you land, go up again. Keep going for one minute, then segue right into the next exercise. It's the secret to keeping your muscles active the whole time. Number 2. Pendulum Lunges These are your basic lunges, with a twist. With these lunges, you go both ways at once, not just forward or backward. This way you work out your hips, thighs, and glutes from all sides, maximizing the effect. Stand straight with your feet together and arms along your sides. Step back with your right leg and land on the ball of your foot. Bend your knees and reach for the floor with your right one. Keep your core and glutes engaged. Don't bend in at the waist. You don't want to strain your lower back and ruin the exercise. Now push yourself up and forward. Straighten your left leg and swing the right one forward in a pendulum motion. Don't stop at the standing position. Step forward on your whole foot and bend your knees again, this time reaching for the floor with your left knee. Again, keep your core engaged and your back straight. Do another rep. It should look like the most hesitant spring steps before a run. Keep going for 30 seconds, then switch your legs and have another 30 second go with your left one. Number three, pause squats. Your quads, hamstrings, and glutes will burn like crazy, and you'll love it. Stand up straight with your feet shoulder width apart. Get down into a squat, bending your knees and pushing your glutes out. Keep your back straight and don't lift your heels off the floor. Imagine there's a chair behind you. Sit down on that imaginary chair. Stay still for three seconds. Just remember that the chair isn't real. Then get up into the starting position and do it all over again. 10 reps should be enough before you move on to the next exercise. Number four, mountain climber twist. This one targets your core, abs, and hips. Get into the push-up position with your palms on the floor right beneath your shoulders. Prop your lower body on your toes. Bring your right leg to your chest. Twist your core at the same time and try to get your knee to your left elbow. Put the leg back down and repeat with your left leg and right elbow. Imagine you're going up the stairs in style. Keep going for 30 seconds. Number five, burpees. They're fast and furious and engage almost your entire body. And they add the cardio effect to the workout. Stand up with your feet hip width apart, then bend your knees and put your hands on the floor. Kick your legs behind you to get into the push-up position. Bend your elbows until you reach the floor with your chest and then push yourself back up in a powerful move. At the same time, bring your legs under your body. Push with your legs to get yourself up. Straighten up and raise your hands in the air. When you land, start another rep with no rest. 10 reps will do. Number six, blast off push-ups. This push-up variation works out your entire body, which is way better than regular push-ups. It's a mix of a squat, a burpee, and a push-up. For starters, get into the standard push-up position. Place your hands right beneath your shoulders and your feet on tiptoes. Start moving down to reach the floor with your chest, then push yourself back up. Once you're back to the initial position, bend your knees and push your glutes back until you almost sit on your heels. Your hands should remain on the floor where you put them. Keep your back straight and your abs tightly squeezed. Return to the initial position and start all over. You should be fine with 10 reps. Number seven diamond push-ups. Give your biceps the workout they deserve. Get into the regular push-up position first with your hands right beneath your shoulders, just like in the previous exercises. Now move your hands closer together until your forefingers reach your thumbs. They should form the shape of a diamond. Bend your elbows and lower your body to touch the floor with your chest. Keep your back flat and make sure your arms are as close to your torso as possible. If you move your elbows apart, your biceps won't get the workout they need as you'll shift the strain. Now push yourself back up and repeat. Again, 10 reps will do. Number eight, back extensions. It might look silly, but it's a pro at working out your lats, which are the largest back muscles, as well as your abs and even your lower back. 
Lie on your stomach face down with your legs straight and your arms along your body. Try not to squash your nose on the mat. Now squeeze your abs and lift your head and shoulders off the floor. Hold on like this for a couple of seconds and then go back down. Keep going for 30 seconds and get ready for the last exercise of this set. Number nine, tricep dips. This is the final exercise of the workout. You're going to need a couch or a chair or any elevated surface to power up your triceps. Sit on the couch and place your hands at your sides, holding onto the edge tightly with your fingers. Slide down from the couch and prop yourself on your heels. Keep your legs straight and your hands on the edge. Make sure your elbows are straight as well as your entire body from the shoulders down. Now bend your elbows at a right angle and push yourself back up. That's it, as simple as that. 20 reps and you're done. Nice job.